Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to tell you about you might have heard stories about people being treated with maggots back in the olden days. But I think most of us assumed we would moved on from that thanks to the incredible progress we have made in the world of medicine. As it turns out, however, the creepy crawlies are still being used by the NHS to clean wounds in an increasing number of cases. The treatment treatment involves applying sterilized fly larvae to founds after which they work to eat away at dead tissue. It was common practice in the first half of the 20th century after being popularized by American scientist William Baer. But probably much too many patients' delight started to fall out of use with the rise of antibiotics in the 1940s. A report in the Daily Telegraph reveals medics both in the UK and overseas are turning back to the old method amid the threat of antibiotic resistance, which is causing threats to the well-being of patients. Superbugs are thought to kill around 700,000 people a year, though that figure is predicted to reach 10 million by 2050. One supplier of the tissue eating bugs is Biomondi, a multinational wound care company based in Brigand, South Wales. The company rear maggots from green bottle blowflies before selling them for use in the medical field, sending around 25,000 bio bags containing between 50 and 400 live maggots across Europe each year, including 9,000 to the NHS. The website for Biomonti says larval therapy, which is also known as maggot therapy or biosurgery, uses larvae to remove necrotic, sloughy and or infected tissue as well as maintaining a clean wound after debridement. The bags cost between $150 and $300 each. The technique, which has been used for centuries, has been reintroduced into modern medicine by doctors and wound care specialists who have found that larvae are able to cleanse wounds much more rapidly than conventional dressings. The site says, Shamani Nikam, a professor of the healthcare science at Swansea University, told the Telegraph maggots are brilliant little creatures. Despite often being viewed as an agent of decay, Nikam continued, they work incredibly well in the wounds that resistant infections. We are on the cusp of this global catastrophe of an antimicrobial resistance and larval therapy sometimes considered a backup plan or last resort to tackle resistance. But actually, it is part of the solution. Rebecca Lelwine, a clinical support assistant at Biomondi, said the use of maggots is definitely useful in a modern setting and pointed out it is a tried and trusted treatment. So if you are looking for more interest, news. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.